I met uh, I met G probably around last year around this time. And, uh, it's crazy from where I'm here to where I'm now. You understand? Um, when I met G, um, I met him at a Bible study at John Monson's house. And, uh, first thing that G probably asked a lot of people is, uh, "What do you think happens when you die?" You know? And, uh, <laughs> testimony and um, it was just powerful. Um, he, we went through the law and like you know, anybody, you know, he, he showed me my sin and I realized that uh, you know, I'm just a wretched, wicked sinner, you know, like we all are. And it was just fantastic that he showed me that but then he just showed me the gospel and how where I thought Jesus loves you was just something weak and pitiful. He showed me how it's the most fantastic thing that's ever happened. You know? And now, um, every day, man, I love going home because I live with them. I can just go home. We can just sit down. We can just talk about God's word. And um, for Angie, I, like I was, like Deontay was saying, yeah, it's uh, you know, G, anything, he's going to challenge everything you say by the word. And uh, for Angie to make that cut, is, it's awesome. Because <laughs> G, I mean, I love him because he's going he's gonna to ask you. Well, what does the Bible say about that? And that's how it should be. That's our, that's our authority. And I really respect you for that. that makes you one of my greatest friends. And I can always go to him for anything. He's the guy that's intelligent. So if you need something challenged by the Bible, he's gonna, he's definitely going to challenge you and see if you're biblically doing it. And, uh, I really appreciate you for that. Just thank you for your friendship. I thank you for the love you've shown me. Just the grace that you've shown me. So, cheers to Andrew and Jesus.